Okay, welcome to lesson 7.2. This is on something called outliers. Okay, so um, outliers is probably something you haven't seen before, but uh, basically when we have a data set of numbers, an outlier is any number in that data set that is significantly different. from the other numbers. Okay, I mean, if you look at the word itself, uh, outliers, it literally means lies outside. So it's a number that lies outside of the regular data set. And there's a lot of reasons why outliers can occur. Uh, they can be either uh, larger or smaller than the rest of the data set. Um, and basically you're just looking for something that doesn't really fit with the rest of the numbers that you've collected. Um, the thing about outliers is uh, outliers can be difficult to spot and the thing about them is depending on what you're measuring it may actually make sense to eliminate them. So when you take the average, whether it's the, the mode, median, mean, what have you, uh, sometimes we're just going to uh, take the outliers and just kind of throw them away and not deal with them. So let's look at a couple of quick examples here. Okay, so Mr. Trask is doing his 30-day challenge to try to increase his vertical. He records how high he jumps over one week period, and um, we have to determine the mean with and without the outliers. And then this last question here is actually the tricky one, and that's should the outliers be omitted? So should we use them or not? Um, the first thing I want you to do is, is to identify any numbers that might be our outliers. So we can see each day uh, his vertical as he measured it. Um, one way to visualize this data is to do a number line. So uh, we could do a number line and imagine that this starts here at zero. And then let's say we're trying to put 32 on this number line. Maybe we could put 32, I don't know, somewhere around here. Okay, let's fill in these other data points and just see what, uh, see what it looks like. So 29 would be uh, pretty close to 32, but I guess slightly less. So maybe 29 somewhere around there. 33, on the other hand, is uh, right beside 32. Uh, 47, now 47 is actually a fair bit bigger than these other numbers, so maybe 47 lives somewhere over here. 30 would be uh, right in between here somewhere. Uh, 32, well, we've got another one of those, so I'll just put a little comma, 32. I've got two of them. And then I've got a 34 as well. Okay, now as soon as we put it in a number line like this, what we start to notice is we have like a real cluster of data points right here where this 47 really seems to be kind of on the outside. And that's exactly what we mean by an outlier. It's uh, sort of significantly bigger than the rest of these other numbers. Okay, so let's find the mean. First thing we're going to do is find the mean with our, uh, all of our numbers included. So remember to find the mean, we're going to do the sum of all numbers. And we're going to divide that by the number of numbers. Okay, so 32 plus 29 plus 33 plus 47 plus 30. 32 plus 34 and there are seven days in the week okay 32 plus Divide this by 7, and I get right around 33.9 centimeters. Okay, now let's calculate our mean without. So we'll do the same thing, but we're just going to ignore that 47. So 32, 29, 
33, skip over the 47. Now remember in this case that we've thrown away one of our data points, so we only have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers that we're working with. So divide by six, and I get right around 31.7 centimeters. Now believe it or not, that's actually the easy part. Uh, the tricky question is this one right here, I'll just go back to, is the question is, should the outliers be omitted? So basically what this question is asking is, uh, if someone was asking what my vertical is, should I tell them it's 33.9, like I calculated over here, or should I tell them that it's actually 31.7? What you need to recognize is, uh, if I jumped every day for uh, an entire week, and every day I jumped, I kept getting right around the right around 30, so 32, 29, 33, 30, 32, and so on. Every time I jump, I jump about 30 centimeters in the air. Except for this one day, this one crazy day, I jumped 47 centimeters in the air. Um, that seems almost unbelievable. And that what's actually pretty likely is maybe I actually made a mistake when I measured my vertical. Either I, I made a mistake measuring, or maybe I wrote down the wrong number, or who knows what. This number is just kind of so unlikely compared to the other ones. So what we would actually do is we would actually omit um, that 47. And so we would use this number right here. We will omit 47 centimeters because it is probably an error. Um, I guess the only way I'd know for sure is if I was to spend another week or two or three and keep jumping and every day measure my vertical and if I jump 47 centimeters again then maybe it wasn't a mistake after all. Uh, but if that never happened again then I could be pretty confident that it was some sort of mistake. Alright, let's take a look at uh, one last example. So, Mr. Trask is looking over class averages, uh, test scores to see if he did a good job teaching math this year. And the question is, are, there any, are any of these results outliers? Um, and if so, should he throw them out? Uh, should he kind of ignore them? Or are they important? Um, looking along this data, you notice uh, we could do a number line, but I don't think we have to. Because you'll notice that most of these data points here are right around 70 or 80. Like each of these data points right here kind of cluster around the high 70s, low 80s. Uh, there's one data point, however, 61 that seems to be a pretty clear outlier. It's definitely smaller than all the other ones. So the question is, uh, is it important? Well, the only way to know that is to go back and uh, kind of reread this question and see, well, why am I looking at this data in the first place? And the reason this data is important to me is because I'm trying to figure out if I did a good job teaching each unit. Well, if I throw out this one point right here, this 61, I'm kind of losing a bit of important information because obviously for some reason students didn't do as well on this test. Uh, maybe I didn't do as good a job teaching it or maybe it was a really hard test or who knows what. But it's kind of an important inf piece of information. And if I just throw it out, well, then uh, I've lost that important information. So in this case, we would not omit the outlier. And the reason is because um, it's an important piece of information. Okay, so to sum up, uh, an outlier is any number that's much larger and much smaller than your data set. Uh, sometimes we throw them out if it uh, looks like it's an error or a mistake, but if it's an important piece of information, we're always going to keep it. All right, that's it.